The next night, I realized firsthand just how many desperate New York women there actually were out there. Wow. Hi. Hello. Uh, gosh, I'm flattered that so many of you ladies showed up to hear me talk. Well, um, the fact is, I have had a lot of experience with men. Some of it good, some of it bad, and some of it very, very ugly. Wow. Well, there are two million single men in the city. I have dated about a million of them. Um, and all these men are right outside your door. So the next time you step out in the morning with your shoes and your toad and your traveling cappuccino, take a look around because I'm telling you, our little metropolis, it is stacked with men. You never know who you're gonna run into. You can turn a corner and boom, bright light state city. <laughs> Could you be more specific? Um, you mean like, like places to meet men? Sure. Um, well, let's see. Uh, Samba. Um, real, any sporting, uh, sports bars. Mickey Mantles. Oh, I've gone there. All the men were married. Oh, re really? Hmm. Okay, well, uh, let's see. Um, well, I once met this fellow on the Hampton Jitney. Of course, it turned out that he couldn't drive and he was on some sort of parole program, so I guess that's a bad example. Suddenly, I felt like the bad example. Uh, yes, you. Are you married? Uh, no. Yes, you right there. Have you ever been married? Uh, no, not that I'm aware of, no. Yes, you all the way in the back there, yes. How old are you? <laughs> Look, I'm really not an expert on men, okay? I just write about this stuff. Then why are we paying to hear you talk about it? Hey, hey, come on, be quiet. She's older than us. We can learn something. The only thing I had learned that night at the learning annex was that maybe I should have stayed home. Can I smoke in here? Is that all right? No. If you stay single in New York long enough, you're supposed to get wiser about dating. What men to pick, where to meet them, but what really made any of us experts? Wasn't our single status a neon sign that we couldn't get it right? What if all these years in New York have only made us older, more confused, or dead? Are we getting wiser or just older?